something very basic in what was Denmark has gone last. What has taken over is the policy of fear. It's very easy to develop and cultivate the fear, the fear of the other. And if Denmark or Sweden had had the policy of today, during the Second World War, the Jews wouldn't have been saved. It was difficult for my father. I know how he spoke about it, wrote about it. He even had his last conversation with Her Majesty the Queen a few months before he passed away. It was another event to celebrate what happened in 1943. And he discussed with her the refugee policy today. My father talked about the greatest Jewish leader we had. He was called Moshe because he was drawn out from the waters. The Danish Jews were drawn out of the waters and saved during the Holocaust. And we've just now recently seen in Western Europe, north of France, boats of refugees have just fallen and all the people have been killed because nobody drew them out of the waters and were able to save them, which is breaching something so basic in our tradition. I'm not talking about what's happening now on the border between Poland and Belarus. What are we doing as rich societies? I see here our neighbors in Jordan taking so many refugees, and it's not a society which has any kind of wealth like we have in Denmark or Norway, other countries. So there are countries who have done their share, but Denmark is far behind, and it's difficult for me to explain what has happened to the Danish soul, why the Danes are so much afraid, why they have no confidence in, in themselves that they are able to include in the Danish society those who are really in the greatest need in the world today. But we need uh, to work together in order to fight those fears, because fears is what leads to people being refugees, and they lead to wars, they lead to terror, because when people are afraid, you also turn people away, you don't include them, you can't have conversations, then the extremism can thrive.